In this vlog series, I am transforming an old three-story house into an eco home while living in my van conversion. So today I'm going to be working on a bathroom sort of vanity unit. So this is the bar I'm going to be using. So on the top edge, I need to attach it to the wall. Um, and I could drill holes through the metal, um, but it doesn't leave a lot of space and I want to counter sink them. So I'm just going to uh, pop in a couple of uh, bits along the top edge. Uh, and basically, well, I'll do that with these. These will be what I can basically drill and counter sink. So then I can have like a whole bunch of screws that attach into my, my back wall. we have two sides pretty quick to make uh, now I need to basically weld these sides up together so just done the bottom bit so obviously the top's a little bit flexible uh, can move still but I'll just turn it over uh, hmm. just one of those things we just want to think about okay what how, how are we gonna guarantee ourselves like a flat level square surface. I guess probably flipping it over, doing that side, um, and then uh, might have to manhandle a little bit to make sure it's completely square when we put in the last ones. So when I go around, it's, it's a, bit of a, a bit of a bendy sort of thing going on here. So basically I'm just gonna do one at a time and make sure it's all level and correct with the layers and then it should work out all right in the end. See, it's a little rocky, uh, and that just means it's kind of like a little bit skewed. So I think what I'd do is try and square that up just by basically getting on a corner, bashing it with a hammer. So now um, I'm gonna put in these sort of crossbars, and that's gonna allow me to screw through the metal some like, uh, or adhere some panels on each side. Um, so basically I've just put a couple of bits underneath, that means I now I'm one centimetre up, I'm just going to weld those in pretty easy. Do that same on the other side and then all there is really in structure left to do is um, some stuff for the lower shelf, just like a divider and a cross beam. Um, and then the welding part is like more or less done, I'll grind it all down, and maybe there's like a weld which isn't quite looking that good, um, but I mean it's a it's a cupboard, it doesn't have to be insanely strong. Um, grind it all down, see how it looks. If I need to touch something up, I can touch it up, and that's not a problem. So I'm just gonna weld these little ones in. As you see, it's a lot better now. It's pretty square. I'm really happy with that, actually. So. Here we have the frame. Just one nice frame, pretty strong. Uh, and basically now we're gonna grind it down, make sure those welds are good, uh, and clean it up and get it ready for basically all the rest of the work. So I realised I've got like a little issue with the uh, design. I put it in the place, checked how it looked. Um, but because of this back space, I've got this box underneath which is letting some pipes through. One pipe kind of gets in the way of the unit. I can't change anything with that pipe. So basically my idea now is just to uh, basically weld like a little bypass around it. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. These will be what will connect it to the wall. We just be measured off the holes. Uh, it doesn't really matter where they are that much. Uh, so, and I've done 
holes on that side and then where the wood goes into the recess you need to drill some holes need to get in there. I'm using four mil, uh, four mil drill bit because it means it will just basically go to the screw will pass and then it will just hit the wood basically. I should probably put uh, a couple on this bottom bit which will attach to the, the base of the, the wall, which is like the fake wall build up, so I can just put a few in here, just to give it something to an extra attachment. Then, and then I think what I'll do is I'll countersink these bottom ones because we need these bits of wood which go over those. The others don't matter so much, but I'll countersink those and that'd be great. So the frame itself is basically done. It's raised off the ground and then we're gonna have a drawer here, a piece of wood blocking out the area behind which has all the pipes. A drawer here, a drawer here, and then like a shelf for the bottom which will cover to some wood. So, Basically, this is done. I can paint it and stuff, but first, I'm gonna start working on the top. So, this is the top, and what I've, this is marble which I found in the house. It was in the kitchen originally, um, and I'm gonna use it as the sort of countertop. However, I've got two pieces of it, and it's got this like scoop in it, and I kind of like somehow retain the scoop. But the problem with that is it means I have to cut off like all four corners. It's just a massive amount of extra work. But I should be able to square it all up. So the idea is I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to try to use a tile cutter. I don't know if it will work. I assume it should work. You can buy ceramic tiles. So I assume you can cut them. It's just quite thick. So I'm going to have to be slow going um, and just see how it goes. <laughs> the uh, blade isn't big enough to actually cut through my marble so uh, it's not probably the most ideal solution but I think I'm gonna have to use a big angle grinder um, cut as cleanly and as straight as I can but probably give myself a couple millimeters grace of the line um, and then I can file down and try and make it perfect. It's gonna be a lot harder to make this straight because the towel cutter is pretty damn good for that. Really controlled, but the, the big angle grinder, or you can just rotate it and it will just burn three, four millimeters into like it's difficult to control and extremely powerful. But I think that's probably the only real option I have, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> What I've done is I've cut these down. I cut them at a slight angle um, on the edges. It's a little bit rough because the angle grinder does tend to like chip it a little bit. Uh, it's not perfect, but I'm kind of like don't mind it. It's got this feel of like sort of being old. I mean, this is old marble. It came from the house in the first place. Um, but cut down, it looks quite nice. It's a little bit rough. But I'm, I'll do more sanding with some finer sandpaper. I went around the edges with an angle grinder with like this. Uh, sort of sandpaper pad on it. Um, and then it needs like, to go some wet and dry, just smooth it down. So as you can see, the unit is kind of coming together. It's not bad for basically half day's work. Um, there'll be a drawer here, there'll be a wooden panel here, a drawer here, a big drawer underneath, and I'm gonna have some wooden slats on this, which will provide shelves. And on top is a sink. It's black on the outside, white on the inside, which goes with the color scheme. Uh, and all I really need to do is to kind of get this to a point where it's sort of assemblable. I won't assemble it down here, I'll assemble it up there um, and then we got a black tap. So I just need to make the holes for the sink underneath uh, and also uh, um, a way to mount the tap on the, on the back of the on the back of the unit. It will kind of be here uh, and that will kind of pour into the sink and it'll be lovely. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut like get it centered, get it where I want it and then cut just a, a square and then I can fix all the um, the sink gubbins and the uh, like little drain cover things directly onto the sink. Uh, and at the back, I just used the little bracket thing 
um, just to mark out what I want. And because I've got it in the middle of the center line of the marble, I can just cut in. I don't need like special hole cutters. Um, so it should be quite simple to do. There we have it. I'm really happy with it. It's going to be great. Obviously still need to do all the woodwork. Um, but the, the, the really hard bit's done. It's got this kind of old feel to it. Definitely needs a little bit more tidying, but um, I, I'm really thirsty, so I'll have a drink and kind of call it a day on this one. I probably won't um, assemble it till I have the wall finished, wait for some more tiles to come in a couple of days. Uh, and I'll obviously paint it all black before it's kind of covered in wood and stuff anyway. So. Yeah, really happy with progress on, on this unit. And realistically, if you compared this to a unit that you paid for with a solid marble top and a solid metal welded up frame exactly to your needs, it would cost a lot. So you know, the junky ones with a crap wood and the, you know, the shaky drawers and the poor build quality, when they cost five, 600 euros, what I'm making is something which is high quality and excellent value for money because the marble is free and the frame so far has probably cost about 20 euros in steel so I mean, excellent so got the radiator fixed in hopefully it doesn't leak um, attached the bum gun and also install the toilet. Neither of these are particularly hard work, but it's been working. Bomb gun's got four mains pressure. Uh, and we're fully functional. Um, so I just need to wait for the tiles to arrive now to finish this bathroom. They're meant to come today, but that doesn't mean they will. So now I've got the toilet upstairs. Now I can remove the toilet downstairs. I can do the floor here. I can do the wall tiling and then put the toilet back on and then this room is like really significant progress and once I've done that messy work of the tiling because the tiles man kind of gets everywhere then basically I can do all the wood flooring uh, without worrying about messing up with tiles cement and um, the only tricky thing is on this floor is I've got to make it match the same height as my wood flooring it's not a big deal um, just takes a little bit of messing around to get it right so let's get this off